Thank you for being here, and hopefully you haven't had a stressful afternoon. But if you have, we have a solution for you, but in fact, for all of you. We are Tension Soother. So, hello, my name is Dana Gonzalez. I am the Chief Executive Officer. I'm Zach Worsatz, and I'm the Chief Financial Officer. I'm Emily Garcia, and I'm the Chief Operation Officer. I'm Simon Tolawati, and I'm the Chief Marketing Officer. I'm Molly Fredo, and I'm the Chief Design Officer. And I'm sorry to inform that Jordan Villa, our co uh, Chief Marketing Officer, wasn't able to be here today. So, have you ever dealt with stress and can't find a way to deal with it? Will we touch to there have a solution to that? For example, I was going to a wedding, uh, wedding with my family, and I was having a good time enjoying the company and rocking out this snazzy suit. <laughs> and then the problem came. It was time to eat, and I was having a juicy burrito. And I know, no, I know some of you guys have dealt with this before, but the burrito collapsed on me. I was stressed out, people were looking at me, and I just didn't know what to do, until someone handed me a stress ball. And the way it felt, and the way it smelled, it melted my tension away, and it relaxed me. The people were gone, the food was gone, it was just me, myself, and I. So Tension Soother originally started with, um, well, Tension Soother wasn't always as great as it is now. It originally started with uh, gel beads inside of our balloon, and we've experienced some disastrous moments with that. Um, and we had some explosion with gel beads going all over the place. So we thought of a better solution, and it is what we have now. Um, so that's way much better than what we had before. So Tension Stover is a hammy sensitive stress ball that comes in a variety of colors, has many pleasant scents inside that help relieve your stress, and the texture of our product is incredibly, incredibly smooth and soft, it's for only $5. Our primary target market are teenage boys and girls ages 13 and 19, and our secondary target market are ages 20 and up. And here we have a picture of Daniel, 12th grader who attends Sequoia High School, and he enjoys using our product because he can use it anytime he wants. And he struggles, he struggles with um, physics and English, so it really helps him. And for our cause, in order to make our stress ball, we used one balloon, two ounces of our secret ingredient, and four ounces of flour, and if we were to have any labor, it would be 30 units per person an hour, and the cost would be $1.55. In the program up to this point, we have sold 36 units. That is $136 worth of revenue from promotion deals and the regular price of the stress ball. From Showcase 2, we were given a loan investment of $97.10. From expenses, we used $68 from that loan, including startups, startup costs, managing costs, and possible units. From the revenue and the expenses, our net profit is $68. And from these charts, just selling 14 uh, units of our product would break even. So the idea of Attention Soother originated with three Sequoia ninth graders who created a product to relieve stress. As the year went on for the original team, they added three additional members, like myself, Evelyn, and Jordan, who is unfortunately not here today. With our new developed team, we helped develop the product and launch the product of what you guys are seeing today. And from our journey, we learned three important lessons. We learned to communicate and collaborate as a team effectively. We also knew that it was realistic, and we also thought it was important to be realistic in ourselves our forecast and our product composition. Business vocabulary and hard working is what we need to start a company. So our group came up with three spark skills that we thought was important. One of them was problem solving because as Dana said, before we started making our product we used jelly beans and they exploded. So we found a solution to that. Our second spark skill was collaboration because in the beginning we started arguing, we didn't get along with each other and we finally worked that out. Our third was great because sometimes we fell but we got back up and we kept moving. So thank you for your time. We are attention to there and remember if you're ever feeling stressed just squeeze it and release it. And you can <laughs> I love the energy that you guys brought. It's very visible that you had a great time perspective doing the product and that reflects well on you guys. Oh, one question would be how did you guys come up with the five dollar selling price? I actually have the answer for that. So we think of it teenagers these days 
they don't have jobs, so it's hard to get money, and the only way they can get money is by asking their parents. So we thought maybe five dollars would be a good option, as well as adults, it's a lot affordable too. Okay, great. Yeah, it's really hard to even believe like you guys had any sort of like miscommunication. You guys think so well during the presentation, practically finish off each other's sentences. Um, so it was awesome. Your presentation was awesome. I want to know a little bit more about uh, how you guys are going to choose to market the product. Like, do you guys have like an Instagram account? What? How? How did you guys? Um, is that the only avenue of marketing? And what kind of like photos do you guys have on Instagram? Yeah. So we barely uh, make the Instagram mm -hmm. account, but we do have our email on there just in case someone wants to like, communicate with us, or make some business with us, mm -hmm. um, which is how we. Can do you guys uh, have any ideas for what you guys want to put on, like photo sharing or anything like that? Um, we have like ideas with like discounts. Yeah. We can like pretend they telling people like, oh, get two for five dollars or something like that. Yeah. A quick question. What in a couple slides before I mentioned you split the product into marketing over over twenty and under under twenty. Talk about how that came about. I'm on one side of this product, there's a the under 20, and then the product over 20. Or the uh, not really. Well, okay, so it's 13 and 19 because usually at that time, uh, a lot of teenagers uh, are going to high school and they're dealing with a lot of load. Ex, uh, expectations are a lot higher for students and we also did 20 and up because that's also another important life thing, uh, an important life uh, pathway because you're going into college now. College is a lot harder than high school and I, I'm guessing that some of you guys know what that feels like to go to college. I have a, I have a cousin who goes to Stanford and it's very hard for her so we thought this would be a good uh, primary, uh, secondary option for um, for the older older people. Like right. Thank you. Am I allowed to ask about um, um, competitive products that are out on the market? Okay. So you are high school students. I'm a high school teacher, and the spinners are the big <laughs> stress relievers right now that drive teachers crazy and. Um, how, what would you do if, if you were trying to market your product to a student who's very happy with their, with their spinner? Okay, well I'll tell you this, a, a fidget spinner, it doesn't smell as great as ours. That one has a very soothing texture, um, it's especially for your stress or even if you're just a person that fidgets a lot, it's still a great uh, product. Fidget spinners, some of them create like a sound that can be very annoying. That one, it doesn't really create sound much. It just like creates the sound of you feeling the stress ball. And I'd say those stress balls are better than the fidget spinners and a lot more portable. 